talked a bit already about how to deal with negative whole numbers. And we've talked a lot about how to deal with positive whole numbers. Now we're going to deal with some, some not whole numbers, some decimal numbers. Um, reals or floats, or whatever you want to call them when you're programming. We're going to look at how we deal with those. Now actually we're not going to use floats, we're not going to use floating point. We're going to use something called fixed point. And with fixed point, what we've got is a specific place where there's a, a full stop, where there's a decimal point. I'll just focus that in. It keeps losing focus, this camera. There we go. Um, and so let's say we've got a number here. Okay, here's our decimal points. We know that these are the whole numbers, this is the decimal bit. Now in deanery, if I gave you a number, then this would be units, this would be tens, this would be hundreds, this would be thousands, that's easy enough. And we're timesing by ten when we go that way. Here, these are tenths, these are hundredths, these are thousandths, you need your teeth in for that one. And there we're dividing by ten each step. Okay, kind of makes sense. So in binary, we're going to do the same thing. Here, we've got units, twos, fours, and eights. And here, we're going to have a half, a quarter, an eighth, and a sixteenth. Okay? So the positive number is easy enough. Eight and a two and a one, that's eleven. Point. And here, we've got a half, which is 0 0.5. No quarters, which would be 0 0.25. No eighths, which would be 0 0.125. And so one eighth and one sixteenth will be 0.0625. Okay? Um, and each one of these, of course, is just half of the one above it. So if we've got a half and an eighth and a sixteenth, then 0.5 plus 0.125 plus 0.0625 gives us 5, 7, 8, and 6. So 6, 8, 7, 5. So this number here in binary represents this number here in deanery. And using that, we can get some decimal numbers, some decimal fractions. Okay, I just realised that was off the screen, but hopefully you can see how that's worked anyway. All right, so the, the basic principle of how to do it is, is that simple. It's as simple as if you've got a binary number, I'll stick to symmetrical ones for now, um, then all you do is you convert this bit as normal, so that's 6. And this bit here, you see that's a half quarter, an eighth, and a sixteenth. A quarter is 0 0.25, and an eighth is half of that, so it's 1, 2, 5. Add them up, 5, 7, 3, so it's 6.375. Now what you'll see, of course, is that the, the decimal numbers, where they're fairly neat here, they come out as, as slightly less neat here. You know, not many people would consider 0 0.6875 to be a particularly round number. Of course, in, in deanery, um, it isn't, but in binary, it is. You can represent any number using fixed point, but generally speaking, certainly at AS level, you'd only get nice questions, questions that worked. So if I was asked to um, work out 7.75 as, as a binary number, you seven, you put decimal point there, 7 is that, and then you 0.75, well, that's a half and a quarter. Yep. And you can do it just the way you do it with normal binary numbers, with deanery numbers. When you're converting them, we need 0.75. Can we take a half out? Yes, we can. Which gives us 0 0.25. So we take the 1 out. That's fine. And then can we take 0.25 out? Can we take a quarter out? Yes, we can. And we're done. Okay. I'll do that with a different one. Um, this is where my ability to think quickly of suitable numbers doesn't work. Let's have 11.375. Okay, is that the one we started with? Anyway, um, so the 11th straightforward, we've got an 8, no 4s, a 2 and a 1. And then the 0.375, we say, can we take a half out? No, we can't. Can we take a quarter out? Yes, we can. 0.375, take a quarter. Gives us 0 0.125. So we can do that. The next number we take out is 0 0.125, because that's that's half, and that works. And then we at that point, we've taken out all the numbers. And so that's the end. Okay? And there is our binary representation of a positive fixed point for a positive decimal number. Okay? Um, 
certainly at AS level, you're not going to have to worry about a negative fixed point, and you're not going to worry have to worry about numbers that don't work out neatly. So if you get a number that you have to convert, it's going to work out nice and neatly. Generally speaking, um, it's quite common to get four bits and four bits, but you could get others. Okay, you could get an eight bit whole number section, whole eight bit integer part, and a four bit decimal part, so it could be um, 129.6875, in which case you'd have 128, 129, point, we can take a half out, which gives us point, uh, 0.1875, can't take a quarter out, can take an eighth out, because that's 0.125, which leaves us with 5, 2, and 6 which happens to be a sixteenth. And so there is the binary representation for quite a big decimal number, but it's quite doable. So have a go at a few of those.